So we always get asked about proper ground on a powder coated alternator, um, specifically powder coated units and where you need to ground. Most people will assume that grounding off of the uh, mounted unit where it says ground on the engine is sufficient and it's not. Um, we'll go ahead and add a ground lug specifically on the rear part of the alternator because that's where the regulator and the rectifier are, the critical component. This particular unit, you'll see it's 14.1, but there's no, no solid ground point on there. When we add our ground onto this terminal, you'll see this voltage will change right here. Immediately shoots up to where it needs to be at the set point of 14.8. If I take that ground off, you'll see that the voltage drops. So, proper grounding on an alternator is critical. Uh, big three, that's why we'll put instructions inside of the box. Uh, big three is a critical part of your guys' car audio. Without your big three done properly, you will not see the proper voltage as you're seeing now because I just pulled the ground terminal off. So adding proper ground gets you back to where you're at. Not having proper ground drops you off. Big difference when you add proper ground and what you see on your voltmeter. Any questions, let us know. Thank you.